Your name is? Christopher Lee. And what just happened a few minutes ago? I was somehow miraculously elected the new chair of the first City Youth Council of Toronto. What is the City Youth Council of Toronto? We are a democratically elected youth council through which we will stand as an advocacy body for um, certain issues that affect the youth as well as the rest of society in Toronto. And um, you're not a youth councillor, mm -hmm. you're a ambassador. Yes. What's the difference? An ambassador is um, a representative of an organization that is on or has a seat on the City Youth Council of Toronto as opposed to um, councillors who are elected by their peers in their ward. And the organization that you're coming from that you represent at the moment is? Um, I represent the uh, Toronto Multicultural Youth Council. So that works towards reflecting what the city looks like. Yes, definitely. And currently the uh, regular city council mm -hmm. um, may not properly reflect mm -hmm. what the city looks like. Yes. Whereas, obviously, uh, someone who's visually uh, mm -hmm. uh, a visible minority, mm -hmm. you do represent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what can you bring from your experience into leading the city youth council for the coming I term? I believe that immigrants need to know that they have an opportunity to exert themselves on society so I would advocate for more immigrant programs and so that immigrants can come and have the welcome in Canada and Toronto that they deserve and to know that we welcome them and that their voices should be heard as well because they're not second-class citizens they're just on par with all of us. Um, you've been learning a little bit about how city government works. Uh, yes. Has anything surprised you this morning? Um, our democracy I understand that our democracy can be frustrating and as I've realized before, sometimes it tends to be a bit slow, but I believe that this is something that we just got to get used to and not let our emotions take over and basically we just need to uh, stay attentive and stay committed to our democracy because this is why we're here, to heal our democracy. To heal our democracy. Yes. Um, in a sense, though you're elected chair mm -hmm. and that's the, that's the proper term, in effect you're, you are the youth mayor. Of the city uh, of the of Toronto, in in a way. It's a nicer way to say it. <laughs> um, yeah. There's a few vacancies that have remained because this mm -hmm. is a new organization and mm -hmm. uh, things were a little bit rough starting out. Yep. So by elections are coming. Yes. What w might be your message to the handful of open seats mm -hmm. uh, for other youth uh, throughout the city of Toronto mm -hmm. who may wish to become a youth uh, councillor? I would say that. We are a revolutionary body that is going to revitalize our democracy and show the youth that we can do something and that you have to be a part of this amazing organization, this amazing council, if you want to get something done and you want to contribute to society. This would definitely be a great vessel for societal change. And last point, uh, you're 17 years old. Yes. So you're actually lower than the legal voting <laughs> age for mm -hmm. the general election, the general yep. other levels of government. Um, what does this mean for youth who are maybe 16, 17, that they can get involved in voting? Mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel? I mean, I feel that this body of elected councillors and ambassadors is just a vessel to show that the youth can exert themselves onto society. Whether or not they vote, they can still, you know, convey their message and what they believe and what they believe is right for our city, our province, our country, and that. Voting age isn't necessarily, you know, the be-all, end-all of, of political contributions. You can totally contribute through what you have to think and what your contributions, your ideas, and what anything else that you have to offer. Society is willing and ready to accept it and lend an ear, regardless of how old you are. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Lee. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, <laughs> Mr. Chair, uh, congratulations. Thank and you. And there's other people waiting on you, and we wish you the best. Oh, thank you. Um, and we'll be watching very closely. I will do my best. Congratulations.